Welcome back to another video. I am the Detail Hot Lap. Today's video will be more of a talking head video, so if you just stick with me, and if you do like this content, please hit that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into the topic of the video. The topic of the video today is the alternator issues that I'm experiencing. Now, the electrical system of the Mopar Dodge Jeep and so on and so forth is rather a very um, sensitive electrical. So if any fluctuations of electrical battery levels or charging levels, this does throw a little bit of airs in communications and electrical and that stuff. So in this video, I'll explain my symptoms, the issues and warnings and the overall day-to-day -day driving experience. So let's go ahead and get into it. The segment one, my symptoms. The battery light or battery icon shows up whenever I start the vehicle. So how frequently it was. So last year it happened like every 30-ish days. It was very inconsistent. Now further into the year it was getting more consistent but still holding a charge and still charging at 14, 13 to 14 volts. So baseline, the Jeep should be charging at a 14.6. The dash does not display a decimal, so you won't get a decimal readout. You will only get 14, 13, 12, and that kind of thing. And then about a month ago, it started to be more consistent on the battery. Almost every two starts, the battery icon would show up. I go to the battery page, it has a 13 volt charging. And then this last couple of days and or we, I'd start the vehicle, it would go into a battery saving mode. Now I don't fully understand that. It's probably something to do internal and it's just shutting off features that don't necessarily need to be on. So what I did realize is the DRLs are on the radio's on, nothing really dims, so I didn't see a different experience whenever I drove it. Now, battery monitoring whenever I was driving, at first it was like 13 to 14 volts, and then it was 12 to 14, it would still bounce up to the 14, but now it frequently stays at 12, and maybe occasionally it will bounce up to that 13 volt range. So second segment of this video is the issues and warnings. This kind of correlates with the last subject is I've experienced no overall issues. Now that's, I didn't have a no start or a running issues. Uh, it never left me stranded on the road. Thank goodness. Also the warnings, the battery light was inconsistent, but then became more consistent, uh, frequently happening now on starts. I only find it happening on starts 90% of the time. There's 10% time where it sometimes dip into that 12 where it does kick on the battery light. And then I didn't have a check engine light show up for this, but when my mechanic did roll some codes, he did find some codes and I don't know what codes there are. I can put those codes up here in a second. Now, segment three, day-to-day -day driving. Starting, I had no issues. There wasn't extra cranks or whatnot. Driving, I had no issues, no chugging, no noise, no, just nothing out of ordinary. And then idling, no issues at stoplights or whatnot. Uh, no higher or lower RPMs, that kind of thing. Now let's go ahead and get into what alternator I'm choosing to put back into the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I will be doing a remanufactured Bosch unit and the part number will be here. Why? It has, it's cheaper, it's remanufactured. They get behind their products and they do have a decent warranty. I did personally want to go with an OE option. That was right around that $500 mark. I would have went with the Mopar one, but just given the situation and economy right now, I just feel like remanufactured for right now and then we'll revisit in the future. Now I'll have a shop replace it for me. I don't feel comfortable doing it myself and they do have a lift. So that's just one of those things where I don't have this, the correct tools to do it. 
I'm sure it's easy, but I'd rather have the shop do it real quick and then tell me what's wrong. Um, I will show you how much it was and how long it took. Now, your mileage will vary a little bit with each shop. Now, if you take it to a Dodge or Jeep place, you will get charged a little bit more as far as labor wise, but I'm gonna take it down to my local shop. They do have a cheaper labor rate, but they are really great to work with and it's an alternator alternator at the end of the day not any of the electronics and whatnot so so if you did enjoy this kind of content please leave a comment down in the comment sections and if you did have any questions or any symptoms that you've been experiencing please put them down in the comment sections if you did like this content please hit that subscribe leave a like and hit that notification bell it'd be greatly appreciated thanks everyone for watching the video i will see you in the next one Peace.